content creator it is it can get tough at times to create new content get new ideas fresh ideas especially when you put yourself when you put parameters around yourself like I do push those parameters on my YouTube channel for the most part I stay pretty close to my nativity volition of this channel Hello and welcome to For the Quantum Grammar Shoot Podcast, the only podcast of its kind on the interwebs that I'm aware of. I'm your host, Colin Jason. I from Matthew Cohen Glass. You may call me Jason. This is a podcast where I discuss various topics as viewed through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, a mathematical interface on grammar, a grammar of closure brought to the public by the late Colin David Eiffel Cohen Miller in 1988. So I was just going over some different ideas for the channel and actually for the curriculum that I teach moving forward. As you may or may not know, I am a correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar tutor. I've been teaching for about six years, maybe over six years. I lost count. I began teaching in February of 2018. So if you want to do the math, get your calculator out and uh, check it out. I've taught a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people. As I've said in the past, only a very few actually get enough closure on this grammar to be able to actually be in a position to use it. Um, so I guess what, what, make, what has made me happy lately is that I know that I have over a dozen students who have gotten enough closure on this grammar to be in a position to use it, like in a practical manner, not just in a blowing smoke manner. I can tell you right now, and this is, a, this is not even a guess, I can tell you right now that any channel out there that you see that promulgates quantum grammar, or correct sentence structure communication, parse syntax grammar, or parse syntax grammar, or correct parse grammar, or whatever, any variation of that idea, of that ideation. Any channel out there that claims to teach it, know it, use it, I can bet you that 99% of them don't actually have closure on it. And I can prove it. You send me the link to the channel, I'll critique it. I'll prove it to you. So if you think that I'm making assumptions, if you think that I'm wrong, send me a video. Send me proof that someone knows what they're doing with this stuff and I'll check it out. That's why it is so, uh, I guess, satisfying to me that I have over a dozen solid students who know how to use this and can actually use it, be their own authority. They don't need someone else's thumbprint on their live life claim. They have a correct live life claim with three live life claim witnesses with correct grammar, with correct postage, with authority to use the correct sentence structure flag because knowledge is authority, folks. And authority comes from authorship. If you author something, you are the authority of it. It's pretty simple logic. So in the spirit of that, moving forward, I got the idea from one of my more advanced students that maybe I should create a different curriculum, a new curriculum for advanced students. Students who have closure on the grammar and can use it. If they can prove that to me, if they can certify that to me, and I can certify that, then they would be eligible for this new curriculum. And the new curriculum would be centered around what I would call navigational mechanics and basically 
confidential practice. Meaning I would detail, I would go into great depth and detail about what an individual would do, how they would, okay, what an individual, how an individual would use correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar to board a foreign vessel and dry dock, to go into those, (laughs) to go into those quote unquote courtrooms that some people claim are closed which quite obviously you see people going in and out of there between nine to five every single day, people going in and out, uh, judges, bailiffs, clerks, plaintiffs, defendants, blah, 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 pleaders, beggars, workers, employees, cops, Vasilis, going in and out of these courthouses every single day, yet some people claim they're closed. (laughs) Okay, anyways, all that aside, I would create a curriculum to detail how you would use correct sentence structure to navigate, to ship yourself safely in and out of those venues. Whether it is a foreign vessel and dry dock, i.e. courtroom or a government vessel or whatever it is. Go into detail about that and not only that, but also create hypothetical scenarios where I play the part of the judge or of the police officer, or of the the military official, or whatever it is, government official, and I put the the student in a scenario, kind of like sparring, when when you're learning to fight, whether it's jujitsu, wrestling, boxing, mixed martial arts, whatever, you have to get in the ring and get punched in the face. You have to know what it feels like to get hit in order to be comfortable enough to use the techniques you use, you learn in a real life practical scenario. So it was sort of like the same idea. I would press you. I would put pressure on you, put you in situations simulated or under simulated duress where you would then have to think on your feet and use your knowledge in a practical manner to see if you can actually do it. And there would be a number of workshops for this because practice makes perfect. And the more you put yourself in those situations and the more you have to speak those a certain, in a certain way, using certain words, using a certain demeanor, the more it becomes comfortable to you. As my boxing coach once said, repetition is the mother of technique. So the more you do something, the more technique you develop, the sharper your tool is and it's always ready. So that's the curriculum I'm thinking of developing, the new curriculum for advanced students. So if you're a student of mine or you want to be a student of mine, or even if maybe you think in your own estimation, hey, I know correct sentence structure. I have closure on it. I'd like to take Jason's advanced student workshops. Well, then you would contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. And I would set up a correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar test for you. And the test should take 10 to 15 minutes easily for anyone who has complete closure on the grammar. And if you can pass that test, then you qualify for the new curriculum. And then I would send you the contract for the curriculum. You would either agree or not agree. And if you agree, then we would move forward with it. And you would be in the, I guess what you would call the master's class. So that's what I'm thinking of doing, folks. I just wanted to put that out there. And uh, this is the most convenient format to do that in the For the Quantum Grammar Shoot podcast for, uh, format. I know this is a short one. But I wanted to put that in your ear. So those of you out there who think you are advanced, send me an email. See if you qualify for the new curriculum, to learn courtroom mechanics, to learn judge mechanics, to learn how to navigate yourself through these situations, to build confidence in yourself and your ability to articulate this wonderful technological knowledge of the mathematical interface on grammar. Now, again, the prerequisite is that you have closure on the grammar and you have to be able to show me that you do. You can't be one of these people where I put you on the spot and say, okay, syntax this sentence for me, and I give you a five-word sentence, and you can't do shit with it. And then you tell me, normally I syntax 100%. I'm really good at it. I just can't do it right now. (laughs) 
Well, that's not going to help you out if you're in a situation under duress. They're not going to say, oh, he can't syntax right now. Sorry, we'll leave you alone and come back later. When you Let us know when you can syntax it, and then we'll come and try and put you in prison. <laughs> Being cheeky, folks, you get my drift. You got to know what you're doing. Authority comes from knowledge. If you don't know what you're doing, you got no authority. All right. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.